Some big changes are coming to the city's oldest high school. After 112 years as the Orientals, East High now has a new mascot, the Eagles. The Board of Education made that unanimous decision last night. 13 Wams, Rachel Glazer explains why this is much more than just a name change. Students whisper it. East High Orientals. East High's mascot is not something fans chant at games. It's uncomfortable when you think about it or when you say it aloud. Uh, when you speak of it. The word is only appropriate when talking about a type of rug. That's the only thing I can think of in terms of uh, uh, having an actual connection to an object is an oriental rug. Uh, but by definition, this means from the east. Times changed. The meaning of the word changed. But the mascot stuck around. And it's still painted up on the gym wall, which is why a lot of students don't realize it's offensive. It was interesting when I heard that. I never knew it until about last year. But the debate over the name started decades ago, back when the principal was a student here. So this is 1993, yeah. And you can see that it says East High Eagles, and it's got a question mark. It says P.S. Long live the Orientals, yeah. Well, well, whatever will be, will be. And in any case, let's go East. Now the school will go forward as the Eagles, a mascot the school unofficially started to phase in many years ago. The principal says there are some alumni who are against the change, but change is what this school needs. The Eagles symbolize the departure from the old to the new East High as the school begins its transformation with the U of R. Well, there's some people that want to live on an old tradition, but starting something new is very cool with me also. A new identity for a new school students can be proud of and cheer for. At East High, Rachel Glazer, 13 Wham News. And the principal just submitted a work order to repaint that gym wall. That's really all that's left of the old mascot.